Hey, I'm Skylar Kingry. And I'm Tara Kingry. Thank you for joining us on Sozo Mountain Ministries. So the sad truth is Christianity is uh, really confusing to a lot of people. In fact, it's one of the only religions in the world today that has so many people that have um, completely different beliefs about God, Jesus, you know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, uh, baptism, all kinds of things that have to do with um, with the Bible yeah. and uh, what people believe about true salvation. So what's really interesting and sad is you'll find a lot of people who have said, well, that's why I became a Buddhist, or that's why I became this, or that's why I became that, because at least um, everybody in that religion all believes the same thing. So it's so important to really understand the truth of the Word of God so that not only can you stand for what you believe, but you can help other people in their walk in life, in their journey, uh, their faith journey. Yes, amen. So <clears throat> after our last video, um, True Salvation, um, I have ran across um, folks that denied, that call themselves Christians and uh, deny Jesus is God. Of course, I've ran across baptism, saves, all sorts of um, just, let's just call it what it is. It's kind of wonky. It it's, is wonky. It's, it, I, <clears throat> I've heard a lot the phrase mixology. So yeah, that's, that's better. You know, that's more are, of a politically correct. Where people are like mixing scripture with their own beliefs and like pull, pulling scriptures that they want, picking and choosing what they want to line up with what they believe. And so I've ran across a, a research uh, survey of some Christians. It's called a Barna, B A R N A, research survey that polled uh, 6,242 adults uh, nationwide. <clears throat> and they were just asked this Can a good person earn their way to heaven? And the percentage of them that responded yes, and I'll read them off, Assemblies of God, 22%, 38% of Baptists, Presbyterian, 52%, 54% of Lutherans, um, uh, Episcopalian, 58%. Now, I probably, if it wasn't for the video, I probably would not be on a normal basis be able to say that word on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting everybody know. So that was only by the power of God. So <laughs> Methodists fifty nine percent, Roman Catholics eighty two percent. And so they believe that a good person can earn their way to heaven. But that's not what. But that's not what the Bible says. Um, you know, we 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 of course have covered what true salvation is. Um, of course, in our other, and I will post it in the description, uh, and I will do my best to put it at the end of the video so you can go and and look at that. But, so, um, there is a lot of, and out of the survey that was done, did you know that roughly only 15% of the professing Christians, um, out of, I would, uh, this is a better way to say it, out of everyone that was polled, roughly 15% of the professing Christians actually are know what true salvation is and are saved. Isn't that... That's crazy. And, and they actually, and I think I was reading in the uh, one of the surveys that they said they believe it's around 15 to 20% of all Christians that profess themselves to be Christians are actually saved. Know what true Christianity is. Know what... Um, uh, true salvation is, and so um, there's a lot of them. Like I said, be a, a, that believe that you can be just a, a good person. But the Bible says, okay, so <clears throat> the Bible says Proverbs twenty three seven says, for as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Um, your life, your, whatever you think or believe in your heart, you your life goes there. And so, if you don't believe the correct things, your your life is led by what you believe, right or wrong. Your wrong beliefs can lead you down a messed up hole. Um, if what you, you think about, what you focus on, your mm -hmm. life follows that. And again, we have another teaching on that. What you, what are, where is you, uh, where's your focus? Uh, so, 
Um, I've also ran across, like I said, um, people that profess themselves to be Christians and deny Jesus as God. And you can't deny Jesus as God. So um, let me let me uh, let me go on and read a little bit of this. This it says. Um, so Jews, Jews and Muslims believe that God, um, uh, believe as God a prophet, God, um, no, gee, I'm sorry, not God, I'm sorry, Jews and Muslims believe Jesus was a prophet, and Jesus was a good person, but they deny him as God. Well, do you, do you know that, like I said, some Christians, Buddhists, like you were saying, Buddhists, actually say the same thing um <clears throat> but jesus is god As a matter of fact romans and not romans i'm sorry john 1 says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god well who is jesus he is god and so um it, um in in <clears throat> Romans 3.23, it says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, you do a wonderful job of explaining this, what the, because you actually explained it in our video, True Salvation, but would you do everybody a favor and we'll explain this again? Sure. So, um, the literal translation of um, glory in that verse is doxa which means view and opinion of. So if you read that, um, the way it's translated, it's for all have sinned and fall short of the view and opinion of God, which means that when we have sinned as a Christian, it's because we have forgotten about who our, what our identity is in Christ. Um, and we're not seeing ourselves the way God sees us as our perfect um, you know, he sees our perfect born again spirit that is impenetrable by sin. That was such a wonderful job of explaining that. And um, so many, so many, uh, so many people have um, that wrong view of, of God and of Jesus. And it's so important that we have a correct view of, of God and we have a correct view um of what his finished work on the cross is. And the point of this is not to, and of course anybody that hears this, um, you might think, well, you're, you know, you're criticizing what, what, <clears throat> what we believe, what I believe. Well, you know, I think we have to examine because if, when people hear, go back and forth, well, you know, I don't want to be, I've heard Christians say before I was a Christian, you know, I didn't personally say this, but I've heard other Christians say, um, and other non-Christians say, well, they're just bickering all the time about they can't even agree on anything, like, like Tara was mentioning before. So I think it's important that we have to um, get what we believe down and, and back it up with Scripture. It's so important that we back it up with Scripture. And there's a lot of times we try to fit uh, our beliefs into scripture and we can't do that we have to fit scripture into what we believe we have to our beliefs have to line up with the, with the word of god and a lot of people unfortunately have a wrong view of <clears throat> um a, a very wrong view of um, of god and his character and nature but let me let me read to you for a minute so a great example of um, of this is like in the uh, Mark 10, 17 through 23. So <clears throat> uh, this brings out that um, confusion about um, in the world today. So a young rich ruler in Mark 10, it goes to Jesus. And let's read about it. So it's in 17, verses 17 says, <clears throat> a young rich ruler... Now, he, he, he was going out on the road, and I'm reading out of my trusty, today I'm reading out of my uh, Bible, <clears throat> the book, actual book instead of uh, paper. And so, <clears throat> now he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him and asked him, good teacher, what shall I do? 
that I may inherit eternal life. So, this one, this man wants to know how he can earn eternal life. I'm probably going to give you a little bit different way it's been taught than in the past, but this is a great example of Christianity as a whole. Um, relying on works, relying on um, themselves to earn their way to heaven. And like I said, it's that's not what <clears throat> Scripture tells us. We covered that in true salvation. Again, uh, I'll post a link down in the description. And so, <clears throat> but uh, he asked him, asked him, and uh, said, "Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life?" So Jesus said to him, "Why do you call me good? No one is good. <clears throat> that is, that is, God. You know the commandments." Do not commit adult. He says this. You know the commandments. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to read it first and then we'll bring it out. Do not commit adultery. Do not commit murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your mother and your father. So he lists several of the Ten Commandments. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack. Go your way and sell whatever you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come take up your cross and follow me. But he was sad <clears throat> at this word and went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. So first of all, I want to I want to bring out that this man goes to Jesus and asks him, how may I have eternal life? Well, if he had watched my video, he would have known John 17, 3. No. But <clears throat> Adam, out of the out of the word of God, he says, John 17, 3 says, and this is eternal life, that you may know the one true God eternal and that you may know the one true God and Jesus Christ. So, <clears throat> but this man here asks Jesus himself, good teacher. What shall I do to have eternal life? Then, notice how he goes on after Jesus describes, asking, why did you call me good? He said, no one is good but one, and that is God. <clears throat> so then he goes on and just calls him teacher after that. He, Jesus, says, Jesus says this, you know the commandment. Do not commit adultery, and he lists off several. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, one thing you lack, go away your way. See, one thing you lack. So he named off the uh, commandments. And then he said, <clears throat> he, he named off the commandments, this man did, the young rich ruler. And then doesn't say good, he says teacher. So Jesus explained that only person that's good is God. So this man denied him being God right there by calling him teacher and not good. Because, and then he Jesus listed off the commandments, says you know the commandments, listed them off. But Jesus then goes on to say you lack one thing. Go your way and sell them. So that <clears throat> out of the Ten Commandments, the very, very first one, the very, very first one is you shall have no other gods before me. Okay, and number 10 is you shall not covet. Well, I've had, so out of the Ten Commandments, what, what, what is the one, one of the things that he lacked, one of the commandments that he lacked? He let, listed off several that he did do, but he, what is the one that he lacked? The one that he lacked, if you say, so the only, only options out of the Ten Commandments are the first one, which is you shall not have any other gods before me. Number 10 is that you shall not covet. Well, what does covet mean? People, I've heard people say, well, it's, he's coveting his own stuff. You don't covet your own stuff. But look up the definition of covet. The definition of covet means earning or lusting after something that is not yours or that you do not possess. These are his things. Jesus looking at him and loved him said, one thing you lack, go your way, and sell whatever you have. And give to the poor, and you will have the treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. 
Verse 22 says, But he was sad at this word, and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. So that eliminates, that eliminates right there, uh, number 10, the 10th commandment. So Jesus was saying, You shall have no other gods before me. So this man was denying him God. <clears throat> and so, but today, and translate that into today, <clears throat> we are, not we, not us as our ministry, but a lot of Christians are denying true salvation. We're denying Jesus as God and God of our lives. Um, <clears throat> it's a sad state to see um, the body of Christ in in here. Um, I, I That's why I'm doing this video because it concerns me to bring light because I want to bring unity. We have to get on the same page in the body of Christ. Um, because lives uh, are at stake, to be honest with you. And it's not about necessarily just going to heaven it's not about that it's about eternal life bringing us back into right relationship with the lord the the one true god and so <clears throat> we also um the the power of the gospel romans 1 16 says says this for i'm not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of god for salvation to everyone who believes to the jew first and then also the greek <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> That salvation there, sozo, which saved, healed, made whole, and delivered. It's the power unto salvation. That means saved, healed, made whole, and delivered. <clears throat> that is some good news. Amen. The power of the gospel sets us free. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of times we also have a wrong view at, of, of God in that he is inflicting things upon us. And... That's not what scripture says. Suffering, pain, suffering. Um, a lot of times we have this wrong negative view. And that's just not the case because Luke 9, 56 says, For the Son of Man, Jesus, did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. That's huge. What's John 10, 10 say? The thief does not to come but to kill, steal, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and life more abundant. <clears throat> more abundant. That is huge. Uh, some, uh, well, there's one translation, the Passion Translation said, filled to overflowing. That's huge. That's huge. And like, so, and also a lot of, a lot of Christians um, are on the page of, of that God is judging. God is judging people. God is judging. Well, you're sick because God is judging you. Uh, tornadoes. Uh, all sorts of stuff that God is judging us. God judges no one. Matter of fact, it says in Hebrews that he, our sins are not imputed unto us anymore. So, that is not, that is not the case. Um, uh, John 5.22 says, A father judges no one. <clears throat> it says, goes on to say, But has committed all judgment to the Son. But if you don't believe in the Son, then you have already been condemned. If you don't believe in the Son, you've already been condemned. So, <clears throat> I was reading this. As I was reading this study, I was concerned. As I've been hearing about, after, after the video uh, that we did, The True Salvation. I've been I've been concerned and and frankly I've been uh, it bothers me uh, truly that that the body of Christ um, is hurting um, and so so today. I've been dealing with so a dog, my dog, the dog we took on, Morphe, he was outside running, and uh, and he didn't get to run that often. He loves to run, but <clears throat> new dog that this wonderful couple uh, blessed us with, and we love him tremendously, German Shepherd, and uh, he got hurt his paw, second, second 
frisbee throw. He's outside, and uh, all of a sudden, I notice. I look down, and and he's bleeding. I'm like, oh my goodness, buddy, come on, you know. And I got him inside, and and I couldn't stop it. So finally, I, the blood, and so he's bleeding everywhere. And uh, but he was happy. He was happy. He was so sweet, looking at me, loving me, and he just had such a good attitude. But excuse me, I, I was all day, all day. Um, trying to love him, and he was at the vet, and trying to get this blood stopped. Ended up having to um, sedate him, suture it up, uh, but he's, he's going to be down for the count for seven to seven days, seven, ten days. And uh, But during this, while this is bleeding, I felt like the Lord was talking to me about the body of Christ. We're bleeding. <clears throat> There's Christians that are professing to be Christians, but they don't believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. They don't believe the truth of Jesus Christ. And they don't. There's some Christians that are preaching the gospel and they've stripped the power out of the gospel. See, it's right here. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. What is This is the word of God, Romans 1, 16. For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also the Greek. Salvation word right here, saved, healed, made whole, and delivered. If you do not have all of those in there for salvation, then you've stripped the power out of the gospel. <clears throat> I am I am I am upset. I'm, and I'm telling you this right now. Maybe this is a rant. And I don't mean it to be a rant. I, I want it to be a uh, a teaching, but it, it upsets me that the Christians, Christians are believing that um, you can just be a good person and think that's okay. Uh, you have to believe in the power of the Lord, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior, in order to be saved. Baptism itself does not save you. Is baptism important? Absolutely, because Jesus did it. It's a commandment of Jesus and. And I heard it put a, a, a different way. I call it identity. It's our identifying with Jesus. But uh, I heard someone say that it's like an open heaven over your life. It's declaring to the devil that you are not his any longer, that you are you belong to Jesus. But it, that goes back to I'm identifying now, not with my old man, but with Jesus Christ, my God, my Lord, my Savior. <clears throat> Jesus came to reconcile us back to the Father because we could not do it of ourselves. The law could not save us. If we kept the law, we could not keep the law. If we could kept, keep the law, there would be no need for Jesus. <clears throat> there is Christians that want to keep people under the law, and it's not for believers. It's for the Jews. Is it stand, have a purpose today? Yes, absolutely. But it's to bring about so you recognize your need for a Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyway, I wanted to share with you, it's so important that we, we as Christians do not strip the gospel, do not strip the power of the gospel out of, out, out of here, out of the Word. <clears throat> we'll walk in the truth and the power of God who God created us to be. We are the light to a hurt and dying world. And I say this because I love you. I don't say it to be harsh or anything, but I love you. I love every single one of you. Thank you for uh, your love, your prayers, and your support in partnering with us. We so are grateful. Uh, but <clears throat> we can't... Uh, sitting on the sidelines is not something I want to do any longer. It's not something I'm going to do. And I want you to get in the game. You are the body of Christ. You are the church. The church doesn't mean a building. It means that you are inhabited by God. And then you are the body of Christ. Meaning you are the church. God inhabits you as a believer. As a true believer. If you believe the truth of the gospel. Then you are a true believer. If you. If you. And, and I'll say this. <clears throat> You cannot receive God's salvation if you don't recognize Jesus as God and the only way to the Father. You are not born again. <clears throat> if you believe 
in another route to to be saved other than Jesus Christ as God and Lord and Savior and that he was raised from the dead, you cannot be saved. I'm just telling you, the the I am concerned the body of Christ. We have a, a um, we have a problem, but it's okay because Jesus is the cure. I pray. Uh, can I pray for you? I'm praying. I'm, 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 I've got a burning in my heart to pray for you. Lord, we just come to you and we just thank you and praise you, Lord. This wasn't a teaching, Lord, but it's just something to bring about awareness uh, to the body of Christ. Uh, we love you. I thank you, Lord. We want what you have for us, Lord. I want what you have for for your body we want your truth we want your power lord we want your holy spirit indwelling in us lord to live in us and through us lord it's no longer i who live but christ you live in me and through me in the life that i now live i live by the faith of the son of god who gave his life for me and raised me to, he raised he was raised from the dead and raised me from the dead with him Lord, I pray that over everyone that views this, Lord, that you, it's the power of you and your words that raise them from the dead, Lord. And they walk in the power and the supernatural that you have for them, raising, healing the sick, casting out demons, and, 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 and doing everything that you have called them to do. The power of the gospel is real. And we just thank you and praise you, Lord, that you, the same power that raised Christ from the dead, lives in us. Lord, I thank you and praise you, Lord, that your words are going to go forth, Lord, and set people free. They will accept you as Jesus, as, as Lord, Savior, and God, as they will believe the truth of their salvation. To not just go to heaven, Lord, but walk out eternal life on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I thank you and I praise you in the name of Jesus. Hey, I love you so much. But more importantly, Jesus loves you. And he loves you too much to leave you the same way he found you. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. I'm Skyler. And I'm Tara. Thanks for joining Sozo Mountain Ministries. Hey. <clears throat> You want me to keep going? Well, we're taking a minute so I can do the intro because I'll have to cut it out. Okay. <clears throat> Dig in when you're ready. Okay. Well, here, I'll start for a minute. Well, I mean, you start now. <laughs> okay. And then I'll... You're doing this editing mess to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. I'll just cut it out. <clears throat> so Christianity is unfortunately one of the only um, religions, I guess you could say, out there today that is so confusing. And there's so many people who claim to be Christians that believe so many different ways um, that it's kind of overwhelming to people. Right. So... I was, I was coming across a study. <clears throat> Hold so, on. <laughs> <laughs> I had more. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> What's really interesting, are you going to sit like that the whole no. time? <laughs> nope. We got post an outtake video sometime. Yeah, you probably should mm -hmm. do some bloopers. <laughs> 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 oh my word. <laughs>
You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> mm. I'm just going to start over. I'm Skyler. This yeah. is Tara, Sozo Mountain Ministries. Let's start over. Hey, I'm Skyler. This is Tara, my beautiful wife. We're Sozo Mountain Ministries. And. And what? <laughs> there's so many different beliefs in Christianity. Uh, there's a study that come out, and it was concerning. But I want to dig into why believing what true salvation is that, so important. That doesn't even make any sense. 